playing it, it was so much fun. Like, I remember when my friends, uh, Hung and Lu, I would play with them, and on a Saturday night, we'd, um, let's say go out, come back at midnight or one or whatever, and play from one to four or five in the morning, almost every Saturday. Because, <laughs> um, we always, we play in Australia, and, um, there's not many people around doing groups and stuff, but, because we're on an American service, so that's the time that, um, a lot of people are on and have a lot more fun that time you know, when a lot of people are on and yeah it was so much fun um, yeah so um, you know if you look critically you could say it's a failure but I don't think it was I think it was one of the best games and yeah um, yeah great memories from that game yeah if you just look on YouTube there's all these videos of like um, Star Wars Galaxies and you know, before they changed it all, so they call it pre CU, it was a combat upgrade or something. And so many people, you see the comments, oh, I love the game, you know, and stuff. So, yeah, it was a good game, really, really good game, one of my favorites, and I still remember it. And it's funny, it's like um, when you play a multiplayer online game, it's like a different life, really, like a separate life to your own life. It's like you have a little life experience in the game for that amount of time. Um, these days I'm not playing any online games, so, you know, don't want to get too into them at the moment, but I don't regret at all the the times that I have played any other games, like, um, I played Ultima Online, um, Star Wars Galaxies, and WoW, for a few years, but yeah, had great memories from that, yeah, a lot of screenshots, and I've kept them all on a, on a DVD, haven't looked through much, but I'm sure if I looked through them, you know, it'd be give you as good as memories as if you were looking through memories of like, uh, like high school or something like that, you know, because you meet people and have such good um, memories of, you know, the things you did with them. Yeah, it's great. In a way it's hard because you kind of feel sad actually, you know, you think back to it and, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a great game. So I wanted to make a video just to uh, say how good it was. Mm. And hopefully, you know, um, in the future they'll make another game that's kind of ha gives you the freedom that that game did, because it gave you a lot of freedom, and you know, freedom to make make you know, the fun that you wanted. Like you know, it's up to you to make your own fun. You know, rather than having the game like lead you to, you know, which is it's like two paths. They're both fine, but like it's different. And so, like a lot of games now, they're all following the WoW way, which is like um, questing and leading people to do all this stuff. Whereas we had so much fun on Star Wars Galaxies because people created their own fun. There was towns that were like um, they had mayors, and the mayors would um, run the town. And you know, one town was like role playing, you know, completely, and yeah, things like that were so good. Mm. Oh, another thing I like it a lot with the shuttles, like you travel from planet to planet on shuttles, but the thing is, um, they'd make you wait five minutes, I think it was, for a shuttle. So before the shuttle launched, all these people, the people who wanted to catch the shuttle would, um, kind of acute congregate around the shuttle, um, launching area, and... Yeah, it's, sometimes you'd start chatting with people and people would make funny jokes and um, it was just fun because like making the shuttle was always a thing like um, it's kind of like making the boat on WoW where you go, you're running because you're running, running, running and then the shuttle leaves just before you get there. So yeah, some really good memories. Really, really funny memories. <laughs> um... Yeah, sometimes you're standing at the shuttle with heaps of people and someone, one of their people's pets is a crate dragon, which I think was a, or Kimogilla, or I'm not sure, I think it was a Kimogilla. Not a crate dragon, but it's like a giant lizard, size of, like a huge lizard. And it would just, they pull it out and, you know, do things. Another thing that was cool is, um, to train skills, like, um, uh, let's say Swordsman has, let's just say, it has four levels. It has different stuff in there, but if you wanted to train the next box up, the next level up, you had to go to find someone who had that level that you wanted, and when you had enough experience points, you took
talk to them and they would train you. So it's it was fun because um, yeah, if you wanted to tra get trained up a bit, you had to find like go looking for someone and whisper. I mean, ten tells and find someone they'd have to meet up with you and train you. I mean, it's like it was a fun thing because it's you know it's um, yeah, it just add some. For some reason, it's more fun when it's like that, and yeah, that's about it.